Hey gang, Jack Lair here. I uh, just wanted a quick video game review. For weeks now, a coworker of mine has been bugging me about this game that he played uh, back when he was in college and how awesome it was on the Nintendo 64. So I decided to play it. I had to find it, and here it is. Released in the arcade in 1996, and later on the Nintendo 64 in 1997, this game, while fun, seems to be a game made by a checklist of features from other games. 1997, for those of you who don't know, is the year that we were king of the world in Titanic, Nicolas Cage got his face ripped off and told people to put the bunny back in the box, Pathfinder landed on Mars, Britain gave back Hong Kong, Princess Diana and Mother Teresa both passed away, and Heaven's Gate Cult gave us the often misquoted quip, drinking the Kool-Aid. Mace is a weapons-based fighting game that features interactive environments, combos, and fatalities. Now, if those sound familiar, that's because they were already included in other games. This was the first game to kind of piece them together, though. Now, for 1997, the roster is uh, pretty fleshed out. There are 19 characters in all, 12 of them on the Nintendo 64 are unlocked. The, the others are unlockable by entering in codes, uh, or they're just there for practice purposes, or they're just in there for part of the plot. You can play the game through the main storyline just by defeating enemies. Now that takes you through and gets you the normal blah 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 so and so achieved their goal of whatever ending. But when you run out of credits you get the ending that lets you know what happened when they failed. Uh, this I feel was more interesting to see something about how my inability to play the game led to these people being killed, killing themselves, or being locked away in a tower for the rest of their lives. The game seems to be what would happen if you crammed Mortal Kombat, Killer Instinct, and Soul Edge all together and set it in a medieval setting. Now, these people are trying to maintain the mace that, for whatever reason, which I'm sure it's explained in the opening credits that I skimmed through, but they're trying to obtain that mace so that they can achieve whatever their goal is. Now, I love Killer Instinct, Mortal Kombat, and Soul Edge. They're great games, love all of them for different reasons. This game managed a fairly decent attempt at merging them all together. Now what that means is that you've got uh, the combos from Killer Instinct where even you know, as you do hit more and more hits, the, the announcer in the background says, Round two, fight. <laughs> They have the fatalities, which they call execution moves. Soul Edge, because Soul Edge was one of the first uh, weapon-based fighting. Now I know, I know there were others before that, but Soul Edge was the one that really took over the arcade in that level. Now for the fighting, there are combos, special moves, and special moves that lead into combo. It was a very advanced fighting game at the time and still holds up very well. The sad thing is that Midway has been broken apart and sold the rights to so many of their games I wasn't even able to locate who has the rights to this game anymore. So don't expect to see a sequel, a downloadable release anytime soon. You can pick this game up for around $5, which is well worth it in my opinion, especially if you love fighting games and you have a Nintendo 64. Now, if neither of those things are true, it's kind of pointless to you. Even if you just have a Nintendo 64, this game is worth trying. If nothing else, it's a lot of fun to just sit on a couch, like we used to in the olden days, and beat the crap out of your friend. Virtually. 
I hope you've enjoyed this review of Mace the Dark Age. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!